I have the belief that eating skins of fruits and vegetables is really healthy. And a couple years ago, I discovered that eating the skin of squash and winter squash was actually really not a problem. So I got interested and started experimenting with them. And here's what I found and what I really like. So I cut off the skin in really irregular pieces like this. And I cube up the fleshy parts and I cook them in a deep saucepan with coconut oil. Not a whole lot, just enough to coat them and to keep them from burning. I use refined coconut oil because whenever I'm using higher temperatures or longer cooking times, I don't want the oil to degrade for health reasons. So I use refined coconut oil or refined olive oil. The other benefit to refined coconut oil is that it has no flavor. So you won't have any coconut aroma or anything else that might alter the experience um, when you eat it. So I separated out the cubes. So I'll put these in rice or put them on salads or use them in another way. You want the skins to be soft so that you can poke a fork in them. You don't want them to be hard anymore. And you want to put the skin down on the platter. So I am going to use my little sprinkler here. And this is powdered sugar. So I just lightly sprinkle over some powdered sugar on it. Not a whole lot, just enough to give it some flavor and to sweeten up the already sweet aspect of butternut squash. The only thing I hate about this thing is the dust flies everywhere. So I just leave a little bit and then I do the same thing with pumpkin spice and I'll put, I make my own pumpkin spice. I don't put clove powder in it. I will put the recipe in my, in the notes section of this. So you can look if you want to see how I do it. So then I just sprinkle this on the same way, lightly. My pumpkin spice has cinnamon, ginger, allspice, and nutmeg. So it's not going to be harsh in any way. So then that's it. I throw it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. You can look at it. Uh, you might want to do it a little bit less. You might want it to be a little bit crunchier and leave it in a little bit longer, but that's basically it. So the butternut squash skins coming out of the oven, this is sort of what they'll look like depending on how long you want to cook them or how crisp you want them. If there's a lot more flesh on the skin, they'll be uh, softer. If you want them to be crunchier and more like chips, then you need to get more of the flesh off and cut the skin off tighter to the squash. And I usually salt mine because I like salt and sweet. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoy it.